Hello everyone, welcome back to Mount and Blade Warband Nova Atas. And as you can see, we have just received message from our liege, Pope Gregory, and he decided that we are not going to be awarded with TARDIS, the castle that we've taken entirely on our own and that we've held against uh, two lords so far that I haven't shown you because, uh, you know, it's kind of grinding away. But, um,. Yeah, I feel betrayed, I have to admit. Now, I did give him a pass on the first castle because, well, I thought if he has a castle there, he might come and actually support me in this in this fight. And I thought, you know, it's okay, he, he might want to have a castle in the Holy Land himself, that's fine. But a second castle? And he's not giving them out to, you know, other lords or other vassals. He wants it all for himself. And, yeah, I don't think I can accept that. Uh, I, I mean, I... I came when he asked me, I led Christendom uh, in the crusade against the Sultanate. Um, I was then a king in my own right and I decided to become a vassal of the papal state. It was my own decision, I did not have to do that. But that was, that was you know, my decision, that is fine. And I accept him as my sovereign, but this I simply cannot accept. Two castles that I've that have been taken under my command, uh, one entirely on my own, and the Pope takes both of them, even though he has done nothing to either take them nor hold these castles. And therefore, I I, I think I'm gonna have to renounce my oath to my liege. Now, I did not plan uh, it this way. I did not want it to go this way, but I don't really see that I have a choice. So yeah, there it is. And uh, we're not going to give up our holdings. I don't think so. We're gonna, yeah. Renounce your oath and rule your lands, including Tardis, in your own name. <sighs> Should I give up my holdings? No. Why would I do that? No. We're gonna take Tardis as well. There we are. So after consulting with the Peace of the Realm, I have decided to... No, I have not decided to do that, but anyways. So, yeah. Our relation goes down. Wow, we lost 20 relations with Pope Gregory, but that's just the way it is. We earned a thousand prestige once again, but we're already as high as can be. Um, now we're king even, so yeah. And I think I'm gonna appoint my wife, Lady Rina, because the rest of my uh, chancellors I kinda need. So yeah, there you go. Um, are we at war? Oh, we are at war now, in fact. So let me actually go and take Terragrid. Um, in fact, oh no, Maragrim, he wants to attack me. He has 114. He has a lot of Jeroian guards as well. So, yeah, I'm not too sure if they are going to leave. If they leave, I might be able to just take Terragrid myself. Because I kind of would like to do that. Um, now, we're running, actually, we're running out of drinks. So, I'm happy that I, that's no longer the case. Um, are we at war with these guys? No, we're not. No, we're not. Alright, well, luckily so far, Terrigate does not have anyone in there, and uh, neither has t neither does Tardis though, so that's a little bit annoying. Tardis does not have any defenders right now, so I need to get away from these guys, and once I'm out of sight, I'm gonna quickly take Terrigrid, uh, as, as quickly as possible, really. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's no people there, right? So, besiege the castle, and we took it! Well, that was... That was pretty easy, so yeah, there we go. And um, we're gonna take the Senite Guard. Yes, we're gonna take. I hate Camel Archers, but I guess. Yeah, I mean, wh why not, right? Let's take two Camel Archers, that's fine. Now, I have all of these people prisoner. One of them I actually released for a little bit of a ransom, which is good. But that basically are my hostages, so that the Serenites do not declare war on me, which, uh, you know, is kind of cool. So yeah, um, I wish to defer. Well. I, I wish it a fair appointment because if I do that, I actually get, uh, yeah, Terrigate has fallen, um, yes, okay, and, okay, great, let me quickly get out of here, so, yeah, we actually now have, oh, this is still known as the Kingdom of Holy Sepulchre, I, I see, alright, that's, that's fine, um, and we, oh, look at this, um, we have light infantry, let me quickly see what kind of garrison we have, heavy infantry, uh, light infantry, sepulchre footmen, militia, sharpshooter. Seems like we have, yeah, we have Swadian troops. I was kind of hoping for uh, Agonic Order troops, but yeah, I guess because they do not advance in technology, that kind of makes sense. Okay, so we have a pretty good garrison here, I think. Um, yeah, 112. I think we should rather now focus on reinforcing Tardis, as we don't really have anyone. Yep, yep. That's, that's right, they want to take it. So we're going to have to uh, put a little bit of a garrison in here. We can recruit troops as well. Many things that I need to do, but first let's manage the garrison here. So let's give you uh, the help these. 
the Rodok Sergeant, an Elite Spearman, the Zendar Swordsman, it's fine as well. I don't want to give you a Lancer, Papal Cross Bowman is fine, the Swordsman and the Pikeman. Uh, the rest, well, I could give you Hired Blades, why not, and I'll give you the Jorian Guard, yes. Sure, that's, that's probably a good idea, let's do it like that. Uh, then we have basically just Cavalry here, we'll give you this guy, this guy as well. And this is the rest that we have is just cavalry. Oh right, and the Serenite I will give you in here as well. And since I don't really like to use mounted archers, this is fine too. Okay, so what kind of um, 75 garrison of 75? That's pretty good, I think. That's pretty good. So yeah, and this is basically our lands that we have now. Now the bonus is um, because well, I guess the bonus is that we're now much better. We have much more money. Uh, much more income than we used to uh, or than we had when we first started the crusade so I think we're much more capable of actually well defending our realm and maybe even advancing into Ashkelon and Antalak this might actually be something we really want to go for um, yeah because that would look kind of nice when we control the passes but yeah for now I think it's time that we actually go ahead and make peace with uh, the papal states because yeah, I don't really want to necessarily be at war with them if I can avoid that. So yeah, they're probably going to go ahead and maybe siege or raid some stuff. Tardis has been besieged by Grand Duke. Yeah, that's fine. Let, let him do that. I'm not too worried about that, actually. The Aztec Empire offers you a peace agreement. I did not know that we were at war, but I think we'll just accept because I gained right to rule for that. Uh, the Vagiers, Kingdom of the Holy Sepulchre, as well as the Aztecs have made peace. Good. So what is my right to rule now? Let me quickly check that out. My right to rule is at 45, and my friend is one that I'm at war with. 45 is pretty good. I think we're not going to get attacked by all kinds of factions right now, so that's pretty good. Um, but I hope, yeah, Tadus is still in the siege, so I might going to have to take a couple more troops out of the garrison. Um, yeah, you are trying to raid my stuff. I can't really do much. I think we're going to go ahead and uh, send an envoy to Pope Gregory and, and you know, ask him if we might uh, be able to enter into a truce. So let's go into the castle and let's sue for peace because there's nothing, there's nothing I want now uh, that I, you know, don't already have. Okay, Duke Harata, what's, what, what's up with you? Greetings, my lord. You have, you may have heard of my ill treatment at the hands of Turgun Teravat Khan. You have a reputation as one who treats his vassals well, and if you will have me, I would be honored to pledge myself as your va Oh! Okay, we already have people. Now he's Tengri, so yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna take you. I'm not I'm only gonna take Catholics because that otherwise creates all kinds of troubles. Oh, and all of our court oh, our entire court is already here. That's pretty amazing. I actually like that quite a bit. So we don't really have to do all that much. Now this one gentleman over here also wants to be our vassal. Now I don't mind people, but he's Islam, yeah, Muslim. No, I can't take any Muslims, I'm sorry, but that simply would not work. I, I, need, I need Christians, Christian lords to uh, help us out. And my Chancellor, uh, I wish to speak about affairs of state, yes. Uh, ideas to strengthen the kingdom's unity, appoint new members for the council. Is there anyone I can do? No. Okay, let me change the name of faction. No, I think Kingdom of Holy Sepulchre is fine. I think that's fine. Choose the Kingdom of Man. We've done that already. Uh, the color of the faction needs to change, however. Let me give me a preview. Mm, we have red right now. I think purple would be good. I think purple would be pretty good. Right? Yeah, that's what we had before. I think that's pretty decent. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll take that. And... Um, yeah, with 100 Jerobian guards in here, I might be able to take a couple more out of here, a couple more troops, but yeah, okay. Now, let me quickly see, what kind of troops do I have here? A couple of people can upgrade. I might actually make one of them my lord, I'm not too sure. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna have to spend some time uh, to kind of figure everything out. Uh, I have to make a couple of decisions that would take too long if I was to do that on camera, but I will obviously make sure to let you guys know when, uh, when anything uh, important is happening. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so welcome back. 
And um, I think before we take care of our kingdom, we should also take care of our town. Because now that we're independent, a couple of things have changed. We can no longer recruit the uh, papal uh, units. We can only recruit, well, the Swadians. So, well, I guess technically they're called the Holy Sepulchre Light Infantry, but I think they're actually Swadians. So, um, yeah. However, I, it now actually makes sense to build the stables because they unlock new units and I guess better units. So we're actually going to do that. I have enough money in the town's treasury. Our growth is exceptional. So we're going to uh, go ahead and construct the barracks and yes, build, I mean, and we're going to go ahead and build the stables as well. So we have, oh no, what did I just build? Wait, that's town. I built a town. What, is, what does that mean? Uh, cancel that. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Large city requires 8,000 people. Town. Town upgrade. That's seven days. Wait. I, didn't I just... What does that do? Develops into a larger settlement. Apparently I can upgrade this. 2,000 pop... We already have that, don't we? We already have city. That's a bit strange. Um... Let's go ahead and just go for the barracks though. Yeah, because I kind of want, I kind of need good troops. So we're going to go for that first. I'm not sure what this is, but we'll uh, we'll maybe do that later. Um, as for recruitment, we have 20 people we can recruit. So I think we're going to go for uh, some men at arms. And we'll go, wow, only four days? That's pretty fast. And I think maybe for some light infantry, footmen. Yeah, I think light infantry must be the best. So... Yeah, we're going to go for the light infantry here as well. Train them. Perfect. Uh, we still have a little bit of money left. Awesome. So that's all I wanted to do for now. I mean, the ridges uniformity is still good. I do want to see why the growth is so good, though. Uh, that would be kind of interesting. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is not good. But uh, farms and taverns. Yeah, this is kind of strange. I don't know why, where that is coming from, but I, I'm not complaining. All right, so uh, let's quit here and let's actually go into the castle to properly manage a kingdom. Uh, but actually, no, before that, I still need to talk to my guildmaster real quick because I want some even more population. So we're going to announce a celebration, uh, a great carnival. Yes, it doesn't really fit that well. I guess something else would be a little bit better. Um... And feast in my honor, but I think no, I want more people. So yeah, extra population, uh, six thousand three hundred. That's pretty good. And I will talk to Commissioner of Justice. I'm actually not going to do anything right now. Everything seems fine, so I don't want to interfere in that. All right. So I've uh, spoken to my wife. There's not much I, she can really uh, tell me. Court treasurer is also not too important, um, as I have set the Grand Master's Grand Master's purse already. So that's totally cool. There's nothing else I really need to do at this moment. Court steward is for investments. I don't want to do that. I want to send off my court chaplain to improve the riches uniformity. We're currently at 77. So I think I'm going to assign him as head inquisition. Um, and you can go out and serve the kingdom. That will increase the clergy power. Um, okay, what about if I spend some gold? Uh, one point for 100. What the heck? Okay, that's a bit much. So... Yeah, I think you're just going to do that once and you'll do uh, that for a while. Also, a court diplomat, we want to dispatch an emissary to the Pope, where he is. There he is, Pope Gregory of the Papal State. There you go. And our kingdom should enter into a truce. And we're going to send, uh, of course, Serafina, since, uh, since she has four persuasion. So hopefully that's going to help out. All right, uh, that's pretty good. And then last but not least, yeah, we're going to talk to you. Um, technological advancements. So we have zero out of a thousand, and the Swadians are at stage four already, out of six stages, and we're at stage one. Um, Serenites are at stage one as well, so that's kind of good, but yeah. I, I think um, we can't really do that yet because we don't know how much money we're making, and court treasurer, I think, want to invest, invest in that kingdom. I think we're going to do that once. 100,000 florins, that should be fine. We'll do that once. Uh, just to hopefully make a bit more money. And that's basically it. That's basically all we can do for now. And I did grab a couple more uh, guards from the tavern. Seven extra guards. So I think I'm going to send them over here. And we'll actually see what's what's going on there. I have only 37 people. Which is not obviously all that good. But yeah. We'll, we'll see if there's anyone really besieging this. Because if not... Yeah, he's, he's wasting his time over there. Which is kind of nice. Um... 
Oh, and our church is under sequestration. That's obviously not too good, but look how much money we're making. That's amazing. This is our weekly budget, of course, but we'll have the kingdom budget soon as well. And yeah, manager garrison here, give you the Jerroian guard, and I can recruit troops here as well. Okay, uh, you can choose a recruitment slot to begin training for new troops. You can train 10 men of any troop type per slot. If these troops have finished their training, you can add them to your party. Keep in mind that customizable player kingdom troops cannot be upgraded. Okay, that's interesting. Technology tier 1. Alright, we'll do that. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Um, well, I guess we're going to go for Sepulchre Knights. They're actually quite expensive. 10 Holy Sepulchre Knights. But yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Begin the training. Uh, you have 139. Yes. Wow, that's very expensive. But I guess why not? I mean, we have the money, right? So let's let's do that and let's recruit them. Maybe maybe some heavy infantry would be good. Yeah, because these knights are kind of expensive. The light infantry is actually more expensive than the heavy infantry for some reason. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure why that is, but I guess. I guess we're going to go for some more knights, actually. Yeah, I want the knights. So there you go. I have the money, so that's fine. Um, 82, I think that the garrison is fine. They will hold out a siege for a little bit. And we're going to check out Terragrid right now. And just see. I mean, we have 112 people here. So that's pretty good. I think... Can we also train some troops here? I cannot because I do not own this. Right. So I think what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to... Since we don't have any vassals right now, I might as well give all of the lands to myself because no one can be pissed off about that. So yeah, let's go to the castle. I actually do need to talk to my uh, wife then because she's the one in charge of all that. Uh, so there you go. I want to <clears throat> yeah, speak about affairs of the state. I like myself Lord. Yes, uh, Sephora's of course. Uh, actually, yeah, whatever, uh, this one. Uh, I shouldn't have actually lost my other villages that I already had, but that's okay. Um, sweet, so this is all of that. I could make myself Emperor of Calrath, but I don't think I'm actually able to do that. <clears throat> oh my god, just yet. Not sure what's going on with my voice there, but yeah. Anyway, now um, you will also see that I have put some more things back in our treasury. The Holy War is over, so yeah, I'm not no longer no longer wearing my Crusader armor. And I've basically just given my... I spent a long time uh, giving my companions all kinds of... Well, all kinds of gear. Basically, I've just given them the best gear possible. Now, Serafina, you can actually see. Um, a lot of them still have the Crusader horses symbol because they're pretty good. Um, and I made Jeremus um, an archer. Well, he was an archer before. I made Marnus an archer as well. He doesn't actually have a ranged weapon yet. And she is riding the camel symbol because I didn't have another horse that she could ride. All right, perfect. So, yeah, we're now once again independent. We're just going to wait and see if we can enter a truce here with the... Uh, well, actually, we're going to have to go over there. Uh, but we're going to see if we can enter a truce with the Holy See, with the Pope. And um, yeah, that would obviously be quite nice. Um, anyways, though, that will be in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you have enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.